And I'm gonna be honest with you, I thought he was on one. I didn't believe him because the branding is absolutely awful. One thing that I was not prepared for was how much dust actually settles in each shutter blade. Hi guys, welcome back. So in today's video, we are going to talk about house maintenance. My house maintenance, to be precise, because I feel that this is a topic that not enough renovators or interior designers actually talk about. Maybe because we now live in a world where we only really enjoy sharing pictures or videos of our homes when our homes are looking aesthetic, pristine or beautiful, myself included, and truthfully, there is nothing wrong with that. However, we all know that no one's home is perpetually aesthetic, pristine or beautiful all the time. Also, it is all well and good and amazing when you become a homeowner. It's exciting and amazing achievement, but no one really prepares you for just how much maintenance goes into maintaining a home. And I am really keen to get to a point this year where I'm so much more systematic about how I manage and maintain this home. So I want to have things that I do, of course, daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, and also annually as well, guys, because it's not just about keeping it clean. You have to repair things, replace things, get people to come and check on things. Honestly, it is almost a full-time job. Uh, and therefore, again, I wanna be a lot more systematic and organized with how I manage and maintain this home. I should also mention that sometimes there are things that you just cannot plan for. And the one that springs to mind is when I had just finished renovating this home and I had a leak in my ceiling, guys. Honestly, it was so, so traumatic because again, I had just got to the point where I was about to start enjoying my home and then had to manage this leak issue and was so concerned that my floors that I had just spent thousands of pounds on was going to have to be ripped up. Long story short, the upstairs radiator in my main bedroom had not been fastened properly and water had been dripping inside my floors for absolutely ages. The good news is, they didn't have to damage my floors and were able to, I say they, I, I ended up actually contacting a leak detection company who were able to locate the leak through my living room ceiling and therefore not having to damage my floors. I then also once left the hot water running in my wet room for days and didn't even notice. And that led to <laughs> almost basically growing a jungle in that room and, and having to actually replace the doors. So the point is so much goes into maintaining a home guys. And in today's video, I wanna share with you the monthly things that I'm doing to maintain my home. As I mentioned, I want to have daily things that I do, weekly things that I do, monthly, quarterly, annually things that I do. But in today's video, I'm gonna share with you the monthly things that I am going to be doing to keep this home a great place to be in and live in. So let's get straight into it in this video. So dusting is one of those things that I am now going to do every single month in order for me to stay on top of it. Guys, where does all of this dust come from? I have absolutely no idea, but again, it's something that I need to do monthly in order for me to be able to stay on top of it. So I'm sharing my TV unit here, which houses, of course, my TV, but also houses lots of lovely decorative items. And you can see that there is a lot of dust that I need to manage. And I'm using my trusty feather duster to help me with stage one of dusting, which is essentially to get rid of the dust. And you can see that it is again on all of my decorative items, or to be fair, it's mainly at the base of the shelves. But again, I do like to dust the items and the decorative pieces as well to make sure that I am getting rid of as much dust as possible. I then, once I've finished dusting, do tend to wipe the shelves as well, just to do a thorough, thorough job or the most thorough job that you can because I'm pretty sure there are lots of microscopic dust pieces that you're never gonna see, but the idea is to do as best a job as you can on a monthly basis. And dust also settles on my candles, which you can see here. I love these candles. They are from Elephant and Bamboo. I will link them below. They are such a lovely, unique shape, which is basically why I got them. I also, guys, haven't shown you that I have mounted my lovely brass bell. This also 
will get dusted as well. It's such a lovely decorative piece that I'm really, really enjoying in this space. So when I was renovating this house, I knew that I wanted to go for shutters. So I have shutters in every single room. I don't have any curtains in this particular home. I just love the aesthetic of shutters. I think they go really, really well with period properties. But one thing that I was not prepared for was how much dust actually settles in each shutter blade. To be fair, luckily I did a really deep, thorough clean and dusting of these shutters pre-Christmas, but you can already start to see that the dust is coming back. Yes, guys. And when it comes to how I approach managing the dust and cleaning these shutters, I have to go blade by blade. So firstly, I will hoover or use a dust cloth to get rid of the dust. Feather dusters aren't as effective in all honesty. So I do go in with a cloth, but then after the cloth, I will go in and wipe every single blade. So you can start to appreciate why this is not something that I can do on a monthly basis because I actually have a job, guys, would you believe? And therefore, it is something that has to be done, again, on a monthly basis. So most of you that watch my channel will know that I absolutely love molding. I have it on almost every single wall in this property. And yes, you guessed it, dust settles on your molding. So I tend to hoover these moldings, particularly in the living room, quite regularly. However, to truly get all of the dust out, you have to clean it either with wet wipes or with a damp cloth. And considering how much molding I have, it takes a lot of time and effort, guys. But again, something that just has to be done if you do want to maintain a clean, aesthetic and pristine home, which I definitely like to do. So molding is, again, all fun and games until you realise how much dusting it actually involves. Yes, and you guessed it, there's more dusting, but this time I'm paying attention to my lights, guys. My ceiling lights accumulate so much bloom and dust, as you can see here. These are the lovely lights that I have in my dining room. I also have them in my kitchen. I will link them below in case you are interested, but they, as you can see, again, accumulate quite a lot of dust and the wide, um, circumference of the lights make it a perfect home for lots and lots of dust particles to basically reside rent free may I add so I have to basically clean and dust six of these every single month so are you computing on how much effort actually goes into just dusting let alone cleaning and maintaining this home I also have um, these beautiful brass lights from the same company in my upstairs um, rooms and as you can see dust settles here also so lots and lots that needs to be done so when i was renovating my kitchen there was only ever one type of sink that i wanted and that was a belfast sink and i remember my builder, builder saying to me that you don't want to get the sink because it will stay it's really hard to maintain but i didn't listen to him i said nope there is nothing you can say to convince me that I am not gonna have this Belfast sink. And I ended up, of course, getting it. And it happens to be my mom that gave me a hack that basically removes all staining from your Belfast sink. And I'm gonna show you what that hack is, guys. It is basically aerial washing powder that I periodically, or monthly now, actually, um, sprinkle into um, onto, my, um, onto my sink. I will leave it for a couple of hours, or if I have more time, I will leave it overnight, and it gets rid of every single stain. It is literally like magic. I also now use it on my Quartz Carrera countertops, which unfortunately do stain over time, but this aerial hack, guys, is super, super effective at lifting and removing dust from your countertops. If you have marble, don't listen to me because I haven't got marble countertops. These countertops are Quartz Carrera and this trick or this hack, again, works really, really effectively and I love it. So thank you, mother dearest, for that hack. So I have had so many questions on my white walls and the paint that I use on this channel and one of the key questions that I have gotten is which paint do I use and is it easy to maintain and the answer to the first one is that I used Dulux which you can see here um, silk 
emulsion for walls and ceilings to paint my entire property. Initially, I was considering Farrow and Ball, but my painter said, don't pay a premium if you're going for white walls. I listened to him and I'm really glad I did because I saved a ton of money, but also I genuinely do love this paint. It has a beautiful, lovely sheen to it, but also it's super, super easy to maintain. So if you have any marks on the walls or any splatters on the walls, all you basically need to do is spray some detergent or whatever you use to clean things and you just wipe it off. It is very, very easy to wipe and to keep clean. And to be honest, I'm a relatively, you know, tidy person, so I don't really spill stuff on walls on a regular basis. But the good news is if I do, this paint is wipeable and one of the reasons why I recommend it is exactly that but also because it's just really really lovely it has a lovely sheen as I mentioned and I would definitely recommend it if you are into white paint in keeping with paint now this paint I had never heard of in my entire life it's a brand that is not really that common and I remember when my painter recommended that this is the paint that I need to use if I want to paint my um, doors black. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I thought he was on one. I didn't believe him because the branding is absolutely awful. And you can see here that whoever came up with this branding clearly is not into the aesthetics of things. It's by a company called B-Deck and the paint is called Multi-Surface Paint, guys. It looks, again, uh, like it hasn't really had much in the design realm and it's basically suitable for wood, um, metals, plastics. It's, it's basically one of the paints that you can use or one of these paints that you can use on absolutely everything. And that, in fact, was why I wasn't really fully trusting my painter's recommendation because, you know, it was trying to be all things to everything and therefore I was sceptical. But... I let him do his, do his thing. He is the expert after all, and I was paying him for his expertise, and I ended up going with his recommendation, and I cannot express to you guys, this paint is the dog's, I can't swear, but it's the dog's bee. It is honestly, hands down, the best paint. I, I think in terms of like consistency and, um, ease of application it's the best paint i've ever used it's better in terms of application and ease of use than the Dulux, and it does exactly what it says on the tin guys i've used it to paint my bath panel in my upstairs bathroom it's the paint that i've used on all of my doors and it has this really lovely satin sheen to it which hopefully i can share with you guys on the screen here and I use it to also maintain my doors, which often get scuffs, you know, often get, you know, slight marks on. And I'm gonna show you what the paint looks like. The other thing also is that it is not oil-based, it is water-based and just mixes and applies like an absolute dream. And again, as mentioned, I use it on a regular basis to touch up my doors, to touch up any scuffs. I am genuinely obsessed with this paint, guys. The branding is awful, but it has substance, guys. It absolutely has brilliant substance. So that is it, guys. It is getting dark here in London, but that is an overview of the things that I'm going to do on a monthly basis to maintain this home. I might even do one that gives you insight into the things that I do on a weekly basis if you are interested. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, bye.